This is 5, 9 here. And in 5, 9, we're to determine V out for each of the two circuits. So we have two circuits, this one and this one, two circuits. And we're looking to find V out. Now, we must remember several different things when we do op amp. So this is an ideal op amp. So the current going into the inputs, going in, that current is equal to zero. So the current going in is zero. And that means all of this current source is going across this resistor. So the current here is one milliamp. One milliamp. So we know the current across here. And the other thing that we know is the voltage here and here. So V1 is equal to V2. So we have V1 and V2. And since this is zero volts, zero volts down here, V2 is equal to, to zero plus four volts. So that is four volts there, four volts. And that must be equal to V1. So this here is four volts. Okay, so we're gonna do um, Ohm's law here, Ohm's law. Over here is V naught. So we have four minus V naught over the resistance, two kilo ohms, is equal to the current. It's equal to the current, which is one milliamp. And remember that one milliamp, milliamp is 10 to the negative third, and kilo ohm here is 10 to the third, okay? So when we take two times one, uh, these two will cancel out. Those two will cancel out, and then we will get four minus V naught is equal to two, okay? And by doing this, we find out V naught is equal to two volts. So that is the solution for the first one, for the first one. Let's do the second one. Okay, so here, let's take a look. What do we have? Um, let's take a look at the voltages. We know here, since this is connected to ground, this voltage, V1, is equal to three volts. Okay, and since we know that V1 is equal to V2, this must also be three volts. So, three volts right here, three volts here. So if that is three volts, then we know that this here is three minus one. This is two volts, which means that over here is two volts. So this one, we can just take a look and see that V naught is equal to two volts. So these two are both equal to V out is two volts. They are both equal here. 